I know that you think the major fight really may materialize here in Donbass where the Russians have concentrated most of their troops and you see this as an artillery battle quoting Joseph Stalin artillery is what the god of war god of war the king of battle uh, Napoleon has always used it as uh, the primary method now the race is on to get that artillery equipment coming from the west not just US supplies not just the M777 howitzers uh, the French and the Germans are providing howitzers as well. The, the PZH-2000 self-propelled armored howitzers that will give crew protection, that allow mobility. That's going to be the key here as they fire on artillery units themselves of Russia. They've got to fight and then scoot. Move, shoot, communicate is the motto of the artillery. And so they've got to be able to survive that with mobility. Can the Ukrainians, with the help of the United States and the West, can the Ukrainians match? What the Russians already have in Donbass? Well, what, what, you don't, they don't necessarily have to match. They just have to be good enough, and they have to just make sure that they can re, re, resupply themselves and make sure that they can defend what they can. What, what the kind of a budget that now the West is providing the Ukraine military is going to allow them to eventually go on the offensive. That's, that message, I think, is to Russia, not just to Ukraine. The $20 billion provides strategic weapons to Ukraine. That's going to allow them to eject... Uh, the Ukraine uh, from these areas in the Donbass, likely, you could even argue that they could even take Crimea back. That is the level of military support they're getting. That, that kind of money is the, the military budgets of Canada, Israel. It is just an, a tremendous amount of money that they're going to be able to use to buy strategic weapons with. What's the time frame? 